hi welcome back to the channel let's talk about those things you should seriously avoid discussing with any woman on a first date you know how long it took you to get her attention right <laughs> so when you go out on that first date there are certain topics you should never discuss with her and in no particular order number one controversial topics like politics religion like you know those sensitive topics that would even plunge you both into argument. Before you know, dates don't become abi obedient, you know, tinubu. The essence of dating and going out on that first date is for you to get to know each other, to have fun, you know, to have a good time and learn each other. Don't turn it into a battleground or a debate such that after that date, she will not pick your call again. <laughs> Because, you know, these things, it's not like you will not discuss it with her. Eventually, you'll get to know her preferences, you know, the things she likes and everything. But it's a gradual thing. Just focus on more lighter and neutral topics. Things that would make her relax and let her just have a good time, right? Number two, personal insecurities. As a man, don't go on a first date and start complaining. Complaining about the feelings, the hurt you have, you know, how life is not fair to you so many things before you know discussion don't turn you complaining for 30 minutes on a stretch ah, it's very very exhausting for a woman because let me tell you the truth there eh? one thing with women is we run away at the first sight of weakness so we don't like weak men and what do i mean by a weak man it's not like being vulnerable is not okay i believe that being vulnerable is actually very okay i mean that's what makes you a human being but when you're just meeting this woman for the first time, don't go and start crying on her shoulder, complaining how life is so unfair with you, how the economy is pressing your neck. You know, she go run, no, seriously, she go run away from you. See, yeah, let me tell you one secret about women. Generally, most women tend to see men as being stronger emotionally, physically, and in all ramifications, except of course the ones we've given birth to. You know, those ones we've given birth to, we always see them as our baby. Even when a man is 40 years old, you see his mom still calling him and she's like, Oh, mommy, my son, you know, she's still seeing him as a little baby. But every other man that is not her child. She sees him as he's supposed to be strong. You hear things like, be a man. Now man you be. Now man you be. So when you go out on the first date, don't go and put out that disposition of like, ah, life has been so cruel to you. You know, you've not had any breathers. No. Present yourself as being strong. Even though in our mind we know that, yeah, sometimes men do cry, okay? Don't just carry all of your body now, you know? Put on her on the first date. <sighs> I remember one guy I dated before I got married. This guy would call me on the phone and he can speak for one hour plus. And I tell you, I kid you not, in this one hour, he would complain for like more than 40 minutes. He's complaining about his job, his job, he doesn't like his job. Like he would talk about all of the negative things happening around him and in his life. And I'll just be there listening. Sometimes I will get so tired. I also want to be heard now, like, does this guy not know that conversation are two-way traffic? Do you understand? <laughs> so please, if you're going on a first date, I mean, you know how long it took you, all those toasting where you don't do, and now finally she said, yes, let's hang out. Yes, let's go out on that date. Don't go and be this, to be complaining. If possible, eh, rehearse them. Yes, so, because you're trying to make a first impression and it's very, very important. You know how they say now, first impression matters a lot. I believe it. You're trying to make an impression, so if possible, rehearse them. Think about the things you're going to discuss with her and don't even center the whole discussion around yourself. Number three, ex-relationships. Don't go on a first date and start discussing your ex or start asking her about her ex. Ah, it's supposed to be about the two of you. Don't go and start telling her about your ex, how you broke up, how this. I understand that sometimes discussions might around you bringing up all of this but you have to like stay highly guided because trust me a lot of these things will just put her off and she'll be like this one that is talking about his ex maybe he has not even moved on maybe i'm even the rebound girl please please i won't see him again you know things like that there are so many things you can talk about in fact <laughs> talk about flowers <laughs> the aim is to get her to relax and see you again and again 
and again until you're married right i can also speak for myself because that guy i was telling you about would also always tell me about his ex-girlfriend how she broke his heart in fact he would say she shattered his heart the way she broke up with him was so the kind of terms he was using then and me anytime i'm hearing this and i'll be like what the hell why am i even hearing this like i wasn't there when this whole thing happened this is me now i'm supposed to be in a relationship with you why are you telling me about your ex you know don't do that number four don't ask her body count hey i know some of you don't do that but some men seriously you go out on a first date and you're already asking the lady like how many men have you been with how many these how many that these informations are very, very sensitive and she might not feel so free to answer those questions. It's not like it's bad to ask. Like I said, these things are actually things you need to know about. But it is up to her to tell you if she wants to tell you. I mean, don't put yourself in a position where you'll be lied to. Because if you put pressure on her, she's going to lie to you. She's just meeting you and you guys are just having your first date and she doesn't really trust you that much yet. She doesn't know if you're going to use any information she gives to you against her. So you asking her about like her body count, like, no, no. She might lie to you and trust me, you don't want to be lied to. Because she's going to feel now she has to protect herself. Why is this guy asking me all these questions? Does he think I'm this? Does he think I'm that? So do not ask about her body count. And please don't go and start telling her you slept with 50 ladies or you've slept with uh, 10 ladies. All those informations are not necessary at the initial stage. Just keep it simple. Keep it relaxing and keep it going. And that leads me to number five, marriage and kids. Women, naturally, we like to think about marriage and kids. Most women, I can't say all women, because nowadays we have some women that don't want to even get married and they don't even want to have children. And it's totally their right. I mean, it's their body. You can't force anybody to do anything they don't want to do, right? But most women always fantasize about children, about marriage, even from a young age. I think it's a natural thing. Even if you bring that up on a first day, for some women might not find it like offensive or something that's going to trigger fear in them. But for some other women, they might um, see it as like pressure on them or they might think that you're pushing too hard or how can you be on a first date and you're already asking how many kids do you want to have or when do you want to get married you know all of that even though these are very very important questions these are absolutely very important questions but you have to have these discussions when the dating phase has matured enough at some point you get to ask these questions because i also believe that you shouldn't get married to any woman without knowing if she even wants kids in the first place so in order not to have her being scared or being overwhelmed just avoid that particular topic for the meantime right there you have it those are the things you should avoid discussing with a woman on a first date those are the ones i have on my list please feel free to drop yours if you have other ones that i didn't mention in the comment section i'll gladly read them and respond to you thank you so much for watching if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is wendy zill and i appreciate you for stopping by please before you go don't forget to like this video subscribe if you have not done so yet and check out this video on the screen where i talked about if a girl is comfortable around you she will do these things i'll see you there